Hi friends, it's Miss Lucy here with the story time for you. Okay, but before we do every story time, what we do? We sing the more we get together. Because even though we can't be together in person, we can still be together online, right? All right, are you guys ready? Hands up and then you bend the knee a lot. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Great job. All right, today I have the happiest tree. And ooh, maybe we're gonna have some problems with the light I've got over here. The Happiest Tree, a story of growing up, is by Hyunju Lee. It is published by uh, Firewall, and, Firewall and Friends, which is a subsidiary of McMillan. So we wanna say thank you for letting us read their book. Okay, you ready? I moved to the building, now it's 10 years old. Let's see, that little tree right there, that's the happy tree, and the tree is 10 years old. Beautiful sounds from the rose piano class always filled the ground floor. Now, see, he's just tall enough to look in the first window, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kids who are part of the piano class. The music came to me through the window. I listened to it with my friends, the birds and the cats. Ooh, am I covering the cat? I am. There's a cat underneath the window. Here's underneath my fingers. And then there's two little birds over here. There's one and the other's down here. It's a new book. Some of the pages are a little stuck together. Here we go. I grew up fast. When I turned 14 years old, I met Mr. Artist on the second floor. Oh, and he paints a lot of trees and plants, huh? Look at all of his paintings all over the wall. For the first time ever, I could see myself. I was happy and excited and full of life. Sometimes the groundskeeper trimmed my branches it was painful, but it helped so that, could, so that I could grow up quickly. Yeah, some plants you have to prune and trim so they grow faster. Not all of them, but some of them. When I turned 17 years old, I could reach the third floor. I was able to glimpse inside the apartment where the Kong family lived. Let's see, we've got mom and dad and two dogs with some little baby puppies. You can see down here, see all the little puppies? All those little circles down here, all the puppies around the mom. And then there's a little girl. Oh, look at the dog and all the puppies in the window. I'm really bad at pointing today. Now I can not read the book, there we go. Mr. Kong was the father of five puppies. My times with the Kong family were some of the happiest of my life. Aww. We've got the one of the parent dogs and some puppies, and the others are over here with their human family. When I was 20 years old, all that I could see through the dark fourth floor window was a lonely grandmother. She was sitting in a chair looking at family photographs and I felt I felt sadness when I looked at the grandmother she's all sad and by herself at 25 years old I had grown to the top of the building however only my long shadow was beside me And I was left alone for a long time. How 
tall would I be? I spent my days thinking about things like this. And you can just see his branches reaching for the stars. One day when the morning broke, I stretched my branches above the rooftop of the building. You see his branches and all these little green dots, those little leaf buns, those are going to turn into leaves. Now I can hear the greetings of other trees beyond the old building, and I am the happiest ginkgo tree in my town. Oh, look at all the other really tall trees along the building. Ah, he's not by himself anymore. He's got all of his friends he can see. The end. All right, what did you guys think of that one? Did you like it? I like that one a lot. All right, how about, let's see. I think my favorite picture in this book is the branches reaching up towards the stars right here. I like that one a lot. So how about we sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? All right, now you can make your hands into stars and you can make them twinkle however you would like. If you wanna do this and make them flash, if you wanna do this, you can make your stars twinkle however you like. You can wiggle your fingers. All right, are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Great job. Okay, now we have story time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We put that on Facebook and on YouTube. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you for joining me today.